and today we're going to be building and displaying this 3d puzzle of the titanic that's right this is 266 pieces of puzzle you get leds on the inside it's almost a three foot long ship which is quite amazing let's see if it says up here yes 34.6 inches long that's quite a large puzzle so what we're going to do is i'm going to go ahead and point the camera down we're going to open the box so you can see how everything comes and then we're actually going to build this in a time lapse and then after the time lapse i'm going to give you i'm going to give you an up close look at this 3d puzzle so let's get into it all right so here it is right here we're going to open the box up and you can see right on top you have your led kit you get your little hole punching tool this is for punching out where tabs go and stuff like that in the puzzle you get your manual that tells you how to build the titanic it is how many pages long 26 pages long front and back that's not too 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 much but my experience with these puzzles is you spend more time actually popping out the pieces and punching out all the little holes and things than actually assembling it but you do get an amazing product when it's done and then here is the the entire titanic right here very very cool so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our building table I'm going to build this under a time lapse and then we're going to come back and take a look at the finished product. Okay, so after a few hours of hard work, as you just saw, here is the Titanic in all its glory. How cool is this little model right here? It did take me three and a half or four hours to build, as it said on the box. Looked intimidating from the go, but if you just follow the instructions, I really had no issues whatsoever. Everything went together really nicely. I was really worried about stretching and putting on the hull cover on the bottom along this whole bottom and it was uh, a little nerve-wracking. I thought I was going to tear the model up doing it, but once I actually did it, it actually went on quite easily. Just take your time and get it done. What I'm going to do now is I want to bring the camera a little bit closer and give you a better look at this 3D puzzle. All right, starting all the way up here in the front, you can see that you have the captain's house, you have little cranes, you have all the rigging, flags, tons of details. As you come down the side, you can see that there's portholes that are lit up. You have the famous Titanic stacks there on top. Some of the rooms are lit up, some aren't. 
as you come around the back you can see that it's got the little titanic flag in the back it has the three propellers the rudder all the details nothing is missing in this model and what kind of sets it off is the light kit so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off and we're going to look at it with just the light kit and check it out now how cool is this it almost looks like it's sailing on the ocean for its maiden voyage I really like this puzzle I keep wanting to call it a model because it's kind of a cross between a model and a puzzle. Love the detail. It was fun to build. If you're into puzzles and building and you like the Titanic, well this could be this could be a great project for you. It could be a great present to someone that you know that loves to build puzzles. It's a challenge, but it's well worth the effort. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.